Hello and welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. Today we've got a super new product. This has arrived in the mail today. This is the Swarovski EL range in 8x42. It's also available as a 10x42, but this is the new one with the TA tracking assistant, which means as well as range finding, it's also got a compass inside, it's got clinometer for up or downhill, and you can use it on its own or with your smartphone to track where you have shot game with a distance and a bearing so when you move to it you can track back on that to make sure you're looking in the right place. It now has full ballistic capability so you can set up your rifle and individual cartridge and that's wireless between your smartphone app which you're looking at me from and the binoculars themselves. These are great binoculars. I've had ELs for about 15 years for various uses in an EL range. And what I can say is that although there are some other great range finding binoculars out there, I did always find that the EL range had a slight, slight advantage just as it came towards darkness. As I said, available in eight or 10 by 42. We've got front lens caps. It's a roof prism design, lovely lightweight focus there, multiple eye cut positions to get your, rain, to get your um, eye relief correct. And the collar there on either side clips up to help focus your individual eye diopter to make sure you get good balance and a nice crisp picture of the internal LED display. What I am keen to see is whether the left and right tubes both give me identical uh, coloration because some binoculars, especially in the low to mid range, can give you a slight offset between one tube and the other depending on which one's got all the electronic tricks and pieces in it. You can see the strap around my neck We've got quick release buckles on the side, which I will attempt to undo on camera because if I drop it, I'll look really silly. But there we go. Bear with me now. So that comes off. So you can take the sling off if that's your carry requirement and that pops back in. These things are well anchored. Eye cups here, as I said, multiple positions there for your own personal eye relief. Uh, these have just rubbed these have just arrived today. The full written review is going to be in Sporting Rifle Magazine in the UK, but I hope to do a YouTube, uh, YouTube review as well. Um, these are gonna get set up tonight for probably one of my favorite rifles for ballistics, uh, just to make sure, although I'm still hunting, it's nice to be able to use these at extended range if necessary. So please like, subscribe, keep your eye on my channel, click on the notification bell, and hopefully the review of these will be along soon. With the app, I am very critical of how lovey-dovey the apps can be. I am Mr. Technical personally, so I like to see the serious features and factors of long-range ballistics, ballistic coefficients, um, <sighs> muzzle velocity, muzzle energy, wind drift, all those kind of things. I like to see them seriously addressed, and I don't think long-range hunting is specifically about dial, click, and bang. It's just not. So. I'm looking forward to using these. I'm looking forward to see how the app is. It won't give me wind offsets and things like that because that's pretty much impossible. But in terms of its ballistic capability, calculating your muzzle energy and the ballistic coefficient of your bullet, I want to see how that works. If it's gonna be available in minutes of angle, milliradians, whether it's aim off, clicks, all that kind of thing. I haven't read the instructions yet, but I look forward to doing it. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now.